How are we doing, Drake? Hey, Gerard. Sorry about the uh, technical difficulty. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Good to see you. All yeah, right. Good to see you, too. Uh, first, we got the 12th annual Radiothon, right, coming up at the Palmer Home? Yes, we do. I think we're very happy to announce a date today, so we're really pleased about that. And, um, uh, you know, I, I guess I can go ahead and put it out there if you're good with that. Uh, sure. That's what we'll do. Yeah, July 13th. That'll be our our, our day for uh, our annual Radiothon uh, with, with Super Talk. And as you said, it's our 12th. So we're, you know, we're, we're very grateful uh, and, and excited because uh, it's such a wonderful day when everybody's able to focus on, um, you know, I, I love how Super Talk says, you know, we're going to put a pause on some of these other issues and we're going to focus on children. And I think that's important. Yeah. So did you say July 13th? Dre? July 13th. That's right. Okay. Am I looking at that right? I see that as a Saturday. Maybe the huh. 11th. Yeah, we got eleventh wow. kind of penciled in, sort of as a holding place. Well, I think I think you're right because we're not doing that on Saturday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Just checking. That's what we sort of have in our internal right. calendar is the is the tentative date is July the eleventh. I think that's probably when uh, yep. when we'll be doing that. Okay. So it's the twelfth annual. Oh, that's great. We always look forward to that. Uh, the new facility, which is fantastic. How long have you guys been in there now? Is it two years, roughly? Yeah, we're coming. We're coming up on two years uh, this May. Uh, okay. So it's hard to believe that it's been uh, that fast. We're excited, of course, to to be here. And in many respects, everything is new. Uh, still feels very new. And um, and yet, uh, I I would say that we are. Uh, uh, it's it's home now to us. Uh, yeah. You know, it feels really good, and it feels great to see. Uh, the children enjoy so many different aspects of what we have, and and um, I think it's great also for staff. It's just a collaborative environment for people who haven't been here. Uh, I, I really want to encourage people to try to schedule some time to come out and see us. We're, we're set up so that we can receive the public, but we're also set up so that we can protect the privacy of our children. Um, but that way people get a chance to see the mission uh, that they're contributing to. So we certainly want to welcome people to come out and do that. Yeah, you know, Drake, I always enjoy uh, being with you, the kids, and, and all the staff there at Palmer Home for the Radiothon. But one of the things that I always find so gratifying, particularly, is visiting with those who have been uh, children as part of the home and then uh, have been essentially graduated and are now out and uh, enjoying their lives post-Palmer Home in in productive way in a productive way and it's i mean that's what you guys are all about it's just always good to sort of see the finished product if you will and they're and they're so grateful for that experience talk yeah. about that a little bit well i you know i think if you you know if you if you've had children uh you know it's kind of funny when they're teenagers and they're in your house uh they're not always happy uh with, with some of the boundaries that you put <laughs> in place they're, they're not always happy with your ideas of how things ought to go um, what, but what, you know, if, again, if you, if you raise children, what you do experience is as they get older, they, they, they laugh a little bit when they look back on, <laughs> oh, now, now I understand what you were trying to do. Now I see what that is. Well, because some of those principles pay off. Um, I don't have to tell you about some of the cultural struggles that we're seeing out in, in the world today. Um, they're, they're, they just seem to be everywhere. Uh, whether it's a whether it's a, an attack by uh, you know a media group or whether it's a um, uh, cultural issue inside schools, whether it's um, boundaries you know in our in, in our uh, civil society, uh, mm -hmm. or even trying to find people to work uh, you know to, to 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 stay after some of the things that we do. Well, those are core principles that we run into with our children uh, when we begin to teach them what life can be about and what it should be about. So as we coach some of those things and as we introduce those things, it is extremely rewarding to see children as they get older and they begin to embrace life with their first job. I had a wonderful text from a young man who's out in the world uh, working hard. It came from him yesterday and he used to be with us. And I'm just so proud of him uh, because he's, he's chosen to live a, a you know, a, just a productive life. And, you know, he's thankful to Palmer home for the part that we had in it, but 
ultimately it's on that child and, and, and on that young man and, and young woman to, to make a choice to live the way that they want to live and do good things. we just glad that we get to be a part of it, and we invite everybody in Mississippi to be a part of it too. Yeah, absolutely. So what about uh, the great folks that uh, give their, their time and, and become, uh, become parents? Uh, in the system, I mean, they're always so fun to talk to, and they're they're so committed to what they're doing, and and uh, the, it it seems to be a rewarding experience for them as well. You know, everybody that works here um, has a different touch or a different you know angle into serving these children, and I think just like the house parents that you referenced. Um, if you're a school teacher and you're, and you're helping a child break through for the first time, or if you're a volunteer and you're a tutor and you see that happen, if you're a counselor and you're working with children who've had a, a complicated background, but you see them begin to you know, have a sense of peace about themselves and begin to feel good. Um, but if you're a house parent and you're living with these, child, these children every day and you see them come in and you know, put their books on the table and they learn how to put clothes away and they learn how to, you know, what are their interests? What are their games? That's an especially close opportunity to build a bond. And we're just grateful that everybody here understands that our responsibility as a team is to look at this child from lots of different angles. We call it the whole child. Right. So we're looking at their emotional needs, educational, physical, spiritual needs, talking with them about what does it mean to even understand who God is or talk about that topic. So everybody has a chance to, to be involved. And our hope is, is that our, our, our collaborative effort will give them the very best opportunity forward. So I am so proud and thankful for the great people who work here at Palmer Home. They really put in extra effort. They could be other places, no doubt, uh, but, but they come here and they work here, and we're super, super grateful. So let's talk about uh, the financing mechanism that, that powers Palmer Home. You receive n no money from uh, public sources. Is that correct? That's correct. Yep. For 128 years, we haven't taken any federal money um, and we haven't taken any state money. And um, I, I think the determination uh, from the very beginning and even today, I can certainly, I think, speak for the board to say our commitment is to be privately funded. Uh, and that gives us the greatest opportunity to serve children directly. Um, to avoid any unnecessary bureaucracy, I understand there's a time and place. You know, uh, we're licensed by the Department of Health here in Mississippi, and we're happy to have a great relationship with them, and we work together. But the bottom line is, is that we want the freedom to be able to serve and help children the best way possible. We want to be able to take them to church on Sunday. We want to be able to pray around our table. We want to put them in the best school that we think is appropriate. We want to bring them home if we need to teach them here. We just are grateful that people who fund us whether it's five dollars or ten dollars or five hundred dollars, bottom line is is you're, you're you're perpetuating an opportunity for children to experience the focus of people who believe in certain values, and that's what we'll continue to do. It's what we've done for 128 years. Yeah, and I think we have to agree that Mississippians are are generous. They open up their wallets, <laughs> and certainly when we have the radio thon, we we see that all day uh, when we're on site. All the shows are, and it's it's incredible, and I think we broke a record last year, and I'm sure we're on our way to breaking another one this year. I think we are. Uh, every year, you know, the first year we did it, I think we were, uh, you know, forty or $50,000, and it was exciting. Yeah. Um, last year we did, I think, and check my notes here, $365,000. Yeah. So, so we've come a long way, and I think you're right. I think we can break that record this year. And I do think it's for what you just, just referenced. It's, it's the generosity. It's the heart. Uh, it's not about the amount. Yeah. I think it's just that anybody who wants to participate in something good. Look, you are in the news. You know there's a lot of heavy no doubt. negative out there. Yep. If you want to get positive, donate and be involved with Palmer. I agree. Well, we look forward to it. Drake Bassett, President and CEO of Palmer Home. Thanks, Drake. See you soon. Great to see you, Gerard. Thank you. You, you bet. We're coming right back, folks.